welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. Um, with... If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up if you like this video. So in this video, I will be sharing my pot pie recipe, which is kind of just thrown together, truthfully. Um, so I share what I use in this and uh, yeah. Uh, I used smoked pork butt that we had in the freezer. It's the first time I've ever used that, so hopefully it turns out really good. And I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, so yeah, I didn't really follow a recipe. I just kind of threw it together um, and winged it really. And I just I put my oven on 375 and most of my ingredients were pretty much cooked anyways, except for my frozen vegetables, but that does not take long to cook. So I put it in there for 20 minutes, pretty much just to bake the uh, croissant rolls that I used as a crust. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. It is fairly quick uh, to make and it's great for those cool, chilly days. Um, and yeah, it's just a nice, comforting um, food to have. So let's... Okay, so I'm making a pork pot pie today. Um, I'm going to need croissant dough. These are the sheets, so it's just one big roll. I got one for the bottom and then one for the top. I am cutting up potatoes. They're boiling right now. And then I'm using a mixed veggie bag and I'm using a cream of chicken. Um, you can use beef. I just happen to grab chicken and I am using a smoked pork butt. So you can use chicken, you can use beef, totally up to you, but I had this on hand, which is why it's getting used. So hopefully this turns out yummy. Okay. so. I have my potatoes boiling because I didn't want them to take forever to cook in my pot pie. So they're boiling. I'm adding my cream of chicken and the veggies to a bowl along with the meat. And then I will show you guys the rest of it. Some of my potatoes in I'm just mixing it in now and then I have a little bit of water in my cream of chicken to kind of thin it out a little bit because it's a little thick um, so I'm just gonna thin it out just a hair um, and my oven is at 375 and I'm using a cake pan instead of a pie pan um, just a big glass pan And I'm just adding a little bit of salt and pepper to it and then stirring it all up. So this is what it looks like before I put it into my pan. And that smoked pork smells amazing, y'all. So in between tasks, I try to clean my work area so I'm not so all over the place. So that's a great tip is to try to clean as you go. Although I still have dishes I need to wash, but your work area. Um, so now I'm going to open my croissant dough and layer it in my pan and then put it all together. And I will share that with you. Okay, so I have one pie croissant dough on the bottom. Now I am going to layer my pot pie filling. And y'all, that smoky flavor is, or smell is no joke. And I don't wear my apron often, y'all, but when I do, it's when I make messes. And this is one of those messy mills to make. But it's not too bad. Um, 
if you use prepped ingredients like I did with the bag of frozen veggies. Uh, mine didn't have potatoes, which is why I went ahead and boiled and added my own potatoes. Um, you can do that or you can pick up a bag that actually has potatoes in it. I just didn't have one. Now I am going to layer the top. I'm going to crack an egg into a bowl and mix it and then coat the top of my croissant layer to give it a nice beautiful crust and then I'm going to slit it and then I'm going to bake it. Zoe decided to help me a little bit so she is actually uh, scrambling this egg. I love cracking eggs. And then we're going to put it on top. This is what it looks like when it's done. I may have cooked it a little too long because it's a little dark, but look at that layer. Oh, it smells amazing, y'all. If y'all could just smell this right now. Mm -mm. Yes, please. Our pot pie is done. Oh, look at that yummy goodness. Golden. Yes, please. Looks delicious. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.